Hey everyone, as always, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Benchmade Mini Crooked River in this video. And man, this knife has caused quite a bit of excitement. Um, Benchmade did have, obviously, or does have a larger version of this knife, which is just the Benchmade Crooked River. Um, same material, same components, but um, much larger with a 4 inch blade, and um, it does weigh in at like 5 point. What was it like four ounces as opposed to you know three point three essentially? So huge size and weight differences. Um, Benjamin's actually brought a lot of knives down and introduced a lot of mini knives uh, in 2018, which has been a really good move on their part because I think people as a whole are preferring smaller knives these days. So, um, anyways, let's get into the specs, overall impressions, and details as always. So. Here's what it ships with. It is part of their hunt line. Uh, it comes with their little, you know, Benchmade pouch as always. Information about uh, warranty, access lock, and so forth. Model number. And this one, they have designated as a good hunting knife. So, you know, makes sense being part of the hunt line. So specs, um, I'll bring in a few size comparisons here. Spyderco Paramilitary 2, of course, which it is smaller than. And, you know, the exact same size, also part of the Benchmade Hunt line, is the Grizzly Ridge here. Um, and you might be weighing these two um, as far as maybe your next knife purchase. Another size comparison, the uh, Chris Reeve Large Sabenza. So, a couple different ones to take a look at while we talk about the specs. Blade length 3.4 inches. Handle length of about 4.5, giving us an overall about 7.9, give or take. Does weigh in at 3.3 uh, ounces. Handle material is diamond wood, which is a wood resin material. Uh, we'll talk about that. S30V blade steel. Um, various bits of colored or anodized aluminum throughout. Um, orange backspace or so on and so forth. And it does use the axis lock, of course. Handle thickness, 0.52. Let's look at it next to the Para 2. There we go. And I think that is it. It does run on phosphor bronze washers, of course, as um, almost all the axis locks do. There's only one model that doesn't. Let's see if there's anything else specific to this one as far as the specs go. Um, the bolster material is aluminum. And I think that is pretty much it. Okay. All right. Let's move some of this other stuff out of the way. I think we'll bring this one back in to talk about because, again, you might be comparing the two. And, um, yeah. Oh, the price, um, you know, 190 essentially. It's like 187 um, The larger version that has the 4-inch blade instead of this, you know, 3.4-inch blade. Um, is about 10 bucks more expensive. So, you know, it's not so much price when you're comparing the large to the small. It really is the size and how does it fit in your hand. So, overall impressions, um, to be honest, very impressed with the knife. Um, all the fanfare that it has received thus far, which has been quite a bit, I think is well deserved. It's very comfortable in the hand. Um, it's, it's very ergonomic. It's obviously a beautiful knife. Um, which is important, you know, if you're walking up to the knife counter, you're not going to start with the ugliest knife in there and think, oh, that's the knife for me. You're going to find something that looks good and then go from there. So, um, you know, aesthetically, this knife has got a lot going for it. Um, beautiful overall lines. Um, it carries very well. It's, you know, fairly, you know, thin in the pocket. Uh, nothing to catch, essentially, going in and out. And, um, you know, this one's really well centered, really smooth. I mean, again, it's it's a really nice piece, um, you know, certainly. Now, whereas this is part of the hunt line, um, I really do view this knife more as a knife that you carry in your pocket and you use daily, um, you know, much like maybe a Para 2 or a Sabenza, essentially. Um, you know, there are better knives for outdoor field use, specifically like the Grizzly Ridge that also came out this year, the exact same size range. Um, you know, there's not a ton of grip on this knife necessarily, and it just carries so well, and it's fairly lightweight for, you know, 
for the materials and so forth. So I think this is a great everyday carry knife. I'm not sure that I really use it for hunting or field use. I think they're way better applications. So um, yeah, I mean, I like it. I really enjoyed carrying it. Everyone I've handled it to or handed it to has really liked it as well. So um, I think it's another really popular piece for this year. Now with the larger size, they do have different versions. They had one limited edition that had a you know, different type of, uh, what is this, the the diamond wood, um, had like a uh, decorated aluminum bolster and, you know, so on and so forth. But I imagine as popular as this one's going to be, they're probably going to do a gray G10 version. Ideally, in a perfect world, I'd love to see one with a carbon fiber um, handle and an M390 blade or, you know, 20 CV or one of those. So, Benchmade, let's let's make that one happen. Um, I think the design is good enough to merit uh, several different versions. So let's take a look at it in a bit more detail now that we've gone through the specs and I've given what I hope is fairly comprehensive overall impressions of the knife, but kind of a almost a clip point style blade. Um, pretty sure they list this as hologram, but it feels like a flat grind. See on the spec sheet here. They don't list. It feels like a flat grind to me. Could be a very slight hollow to it. Either way, I mean, the blade stock's not terribly thick. Uh, what is it? It's coming in at uh, 0.11 inches, so fairly reasonable blade stock. Um, behind the edge, reasonably thin. It's not super thin, but with S30V blade steel, um, this isn't a knife that you want to get like paper thin um, behind the edge because S30V can chip depending on what you do with it. So a little bit more meat behind the edge um, is probably going to help that from chipping a bit. No jimping up on the spine. Again, another reason why for outdoor field use, you know, the Grizzly Ridge might be a better choice with, you know, the various jimping they put on it. Um, it's it's kind of an elegant um, gentleman's knife to, to an extent, um, especially with the wood. Um, but even with carbon fiber, I think it would also um, still remain a gentleman style knife. Thumb studs, of course, um, you know, standard Benchmade thumb studs, they work well. Really nothing to say about them. And here's the writing on the blade. This one is, again, designated prototype, S30V blade steel. Decent sharpening notch in there. Benchmade's uh, kind of recessed jimping here on the handle, which kind of works, kind of doesn't. Again, I don't really think it's needed on this knife. I don't think this knife is really suited to purposes where you need a lot of uh, jimping or texturing on it so anything else on the blade um, the s secondary bevel is pretty pretty consistent throughout this one looks perfect so and it's razor sharp hair popping sharp um, again really well done on that regard so here's the handle again, those aluminum bolsters with an aluminum pivot collar that has been anodized orange. The diamond wood, again a resin wood material. It's real wood, but it's you know um, obviously you know blended or impregnated with resin, which is important because you real wood that has not been treated would warp on you, which is going to throw off the probably the centering, um, create large gaps. Uh, obviously you know, partially synthetic is a much better choice, so. Pretty clean. Um, I mean, there's there's no, there's no defects in the manufacturing or the fitment of the knife. I can barely feel the edge here where it meets on the backside, the front, you cannot. So, I mean, the, you know, the handle or the Diamond wood is pretty well mated to the stainless steel liners underneath, which have been really heavily skeletonized, which gives it that, obviously, that lightweight feel. So, yeah. Again, in the hand, it's really comfortable. It feels really good in the hand. Um, I really, I really enjoyed carrying and using this one, to be honest. Pocket clip, split arrow clip. I like it. It works well. It's a great functioning clip. There's really no, no negatives with that. The backspacer, I think this is the Grivery material. 
I don't think it's G10, um, but you know, it's pretty well machined. Um, there's no inconsistencies or weird angles on the backspacer. Uh, kind of has a gear pattern. It doesn't really, it doesn't add any additional texture or functionality. And then a fairly large lanyard hole at the back that has been, you know, ground through the orange material on the handles. But pocket clip, left hand, right hand, uh, tip up carry. So lefties can rejoice. And again, the access lock is always a great choice for left-handed users or right-handed users. Um, uh, perfect choice for either use. So, I mean, I, that's that's pretty much it. Um, cuts well, looks good. I mean, uh, again, give me one with some carbon fiber M390 and I will be happy as can be. Um, I think that the wood and the orange, again, appeals to a lot of non-knife people as well as you know knife enthusiasts specifically and I really do prefer this uh, you know three and a half three point four inch blade size as opposed to the four inch blade I mean that's that's a beautiful knife but when I handled it I was like huh that's pretty big um, and it, I, I feel like it was really heavy too when I felt it obviously I do have knives that are over five ounces that I don't feel that way about but anyways the mini here I in my opinion is the way to go um, between you know the large and obviously the mini here so anyway centering is perfect um, which is great and the lockup is nice and solid so um, this one came out um, from their quality control with spades so anyways I guess we will go ahead and leave it there Benchman Mini Crooked River um, you know definitely thumbs up on this model um, I'll be on the lookout for some you know, future versions and so forth of it. So anyways, hopefully you guys found this interesting, enlightening, or I don't know, did something, at least give you a high def look of this knife that you're probably going to purchase anyway. So thanks so much for watching. Um, comments, questions, let me know. You can always follow me on Instagram as well, also as Epic Snuggle Bunny. And got a bunch more videos to do, a lot more content coming. So as always, thanks again for watching. See you guys.